Okay, little kitty. Thank goodness you're vaccinated, or this could have been dangerous. Dangerous? Yes. Let me explain by answering a question we often overlook. What if a cat bites you? Zoom in. Imagine you're playing with a cute and cuddly cat, and suddenly, by mistake, it bites you. Like most people, you might think it's no big deal and continue with your routine. But let me tell you that this can be a huge mistake. Why? You see, when a cat bites you, those sharp teeth can pierce your skin pretty deep. This gives the bacteria in their mouth a chance to sneak into your body and spread around. What happens next really depends on where the bite is, how big it is, and especially what type of bacteria gets in. Yes, the most common bacteria from cat bites is Pasteurella multicida. If these bacteria aren't treated quickly, it can cause serious redness, swelling, and a painful infection called cellulitis. But that's not all. The bacteria can also travel through your blood to other parts of your body, leading to a condition known as septicemia, which is also called blood poisoning. If this happens, the person might start feeling feverish and have flu-like symptoms. In rare cases, if they don't get the right medical help, the infection can be deadly. This is particularly dangerous for kids, older adults, and people who are already sick or have weak immune systems, as they are more likely to develop serious infections if a cat bites them. Another risk of a cat bite is developing a condition called cat scratch disease or CSD, caused by a bacterium called Bartonella hensilae. If you get infected, you might notice fever, headache, fatigue, and swollen lymph nodes near where you were bitten or scratched. Usually, this clears up on its own, but in severe cases, antibiotics might be necessary. But the most worrying risk from a cat bite is rabies, which can come from a stray or unvaccinated cat. Once this virus enters the body, the victim may start to experience symptoms like fever, headache, excessive salivation, muscle spasms, paralysis, and confusion. Sadly, if rabies isn't prevented early, it can be fatal in most cases. Therefore, it's vital to be extremely cautious around these furry felines to avoid getting bitten and scratched. To do that, we must handle cats gently and avoid rough play. Don't provoke or tease cats and keep their claws trimmed. Ensure your cat is vaccinated and treated for fleas regularly. Also, Stay away from cats showing signs of aggression like hissing, raised fur, or ears pointed backward. But despite all the love and care, if you get bitten by one, immediately wash the wound under running water for at least five minutes right away. Then clean the wound with mild soap or salt solution. If the wound is bleeding, apply direct pressure with a clean bandage to stop it. However, no matter what, it's critical to see a doctor as soon as possible to avoid any bigger risks. By following these steps, you can reduce the risks associated with cat bites and enjoy your time with your feline friends safely. Trivia time! 
did you know? Roughly 400,000 cat bites occur in the United States each year? Yes! And according to a 2018 research review, infections occurs in about 50% of cat bites in children. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Aram Ayar. Hope you learned something critical today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Here we go. Now I can sleep peacefully. <laughs> <laughs>